Oh, uh, banana split, so it's double the bananas. God! S <laughs> X Y. And today we got we finally answered the most important question. This is about Kyrgyz sock. Oh, uh, well, be sure to check out Stanley's stuff. Not, uh, not Stanley. Be sure okay. to check out Stanley Live. Be sure to check out my stuff. Not yo yo. Oh, I hold you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get straight into it. We're answering the stupidest. Okay, wait. The best and most amazing questions from you, our viewers. That's cool, because uh, we're experts when it comes to tackling stupid questions. I feel like we can answer the questions too. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'll I'll and on top of our own, we get hundreds from you on an almost daily basis. Ask us the questions too. Like, yeah. Bro, we look like some distinguishable, intelligent young men. Come on now. Did you know that water is made out of clouds? Did you know that the earth is only blue because of water? Mm. Sunlight isn't see-through. Sunlight isn't even visible unless there's water. Ultraviolet actually is not violet. It's actually quite peaceful. It's actually quite beautiful because RGB. It's called a two cam, but it's only one of them. Hmm. Did you know when I do drills, my gun be silent? Hmm. I have rays on my blink because it'll get really ultraviolet. Hmm. My cat got a gun. He kind of nerdy with it. Hmm. Call him hmm. Urkel. Hmm. Hmm. But once he blew this, you don't want to see the purple. You don't want to see the purple. Hmm. Me and Stanley really don't like you. When I run with these guns, I'm very sharp. I could spike you because when I do drills, mm -hmm. all my money get dirty, wet. That's a water cycle. He spin on his block so much, just like a bicycle. Bicycle. Your gr green was passed around your team like you like the recycle. Jolly good show. Jolly good show. Jolly good show indeed. Jolly good show. So, let's very seriously and scientifically answer some of them. Question one, how many jellyfish do you need to pound? 330,000. Four. A Tokyo. Tokyo is a... Doing a drill with all due respect. <laughs> a hungry beast, gobbling up around 280 terawatt hours of electricity every year. That's more energy than these 20 countries combined. I'm not, personally, I'm not letting Tokyo look at my, my block like that, bro. Which one's your block? No, no, no. Actually, enlighten this. Which one is your block? I would love to, I would love to know. Where are you from, man? Which one, which out of all of those can you pinpoint and say, that's me right there? Go ahead, bro. Let us know. Find, and more than all of Australia, can we power Tokyo with our innovative renewable energy? 300,000 lot source. Some jelly species like Aquaria Victoria or Crystal Jelly contain fluorescent proteins and glow in the dark. If you put one of them in front of a tiny solar panel, you'd end up with something like a microwatt hour of energy. To meet right. Tokyo's outrageous energy demands, you'd need a quintillion, 300 quadrillion glowing jellies. Hmm, that's too many. Huh? So that's one quintillion, 299... We're all Many. Can we use bigger ones? No, no, no. How about Nemopilema numeri? The oh, that's just a small body one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Really chunky boys, weighing about as much as a piano and growing up to two meters wide, they're armed with around a thousand spindly tentacles that grow up to four meters long and okay. help them suck up plankton wait, from the a, water. There's a chance for In recent years, their numbers have been exploding, wreaking havoc on local ecosystems. Using these fridge-sized jellies to power Tokyo will finally give them something more useful to do. Okay. They don't glow in the dark, but jellyfish are kind of electric, aren't they? Unfortunately, no. If you've ever been stung by a jellyfish, you know it feels like a painful electric jolt. But the pain actually comes from hundreds of nematocysts inside their tentacles, tiny oh, dark even... guns filled with venom. So how do we get energy from jellyfish? We'll squeeze it out of them with the power of piezo electricity. Piezo yeah, yeah I, I knew that. I knew, bro, piezo, bro. I got a homie named Pio. Boy, come on. Electricity bro. is an electric charge that builds up in certain solid. It's, uh, it's an electric charge that builds up inside. Yeah. That's what it, yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah, does. Yeah, like the, um, the electrons and protons. Literally. Yeah, like, come on, come on, it's elementary. Materials like crystals or bone when you stress and squeeze them. For example, a quartz crystal is made up of positive and negatively charged atoms arranged in repeating pyramids. When I do drills, you could say I'm a killer of sorts. Hmm. 
hella rocks on my neck, but you'll never catch me in the courts. Mm. Niggas is soft, sweet, mm. in the streets. Really some young lad. He was trying to step on my f but I would never let that toe pass. Pyramid shapes. Their charges usually cancel each other out. But if you apply enough pressure, atoms shift out of place and the pyramids become kind of wonky. Positively okay. charged on one. I would personally never let somebody apply enough pressure to let me shift out of place. That That's just sounds like I ain't gonna lie. Adam got to get they get back. Like I would never let nobody literally do literally getting pressed. Yeah. Like quite, quite literally. Like, out of your position. You're at an atomic level. You see, you see how you put like your hand on my shoulder Nothing and I ain't move? Like, Come on now. Come on now. Lame at Adam can never, man. No cap, bro. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Like, bro, like, that's just solid, You got to lead bro. by example. Like, that's just. Like, that's just. Like, solid, bro. Oh, the, the, the light's too bright? The lights are never too bright. Oh, my fault. Oh, you was just aura farming like squinting your eyes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, tight, 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 tight. <clears throat> One side and negatively charged on the other, like a battery. To get the monitors over there. Nah, yeah, I heard, I heard something. Oh, oh. I heard something. Together, they add up to a charge across the whole crystal. Piezo electricity power. A sonar times quartz watches and some. Is that part of the microphone? Okay, because I was looking at it. I saw this just happen just now as I was laughing. As I was laughing, this happened. I don't know where this is from, though. That's broken. Like, that's actually broken. Oh, you're right, because... Yo, it's actually dead-ass broken. Oh! Yes. Oh, no, we're fine. Come on now. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, because we do this. Come on now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's my profession. Nightclubs use it to keep the lights on just from the stamping of dance. Nightclub. ...his feet. So, here's the plan. We'll create a ginormous battery from jellyfish by harnessing the hypnotic movements of Nomura's hundreds of long, thin tentacles. Okay. First, we squeeze our jellyfish, one tentacle at a time, into a kind of wetsuit made from nylon 1111, a cutting-edge material that's been optimized for power production and has the same piezoelectric properties as quartz. Next, we... I knew we watch as each twitch of a tentacle bends the tiny nylon nanofibers of the jelly suit, converting its movements into electricity. Okay. All we need to do now is to plug our jelly into a current collector with a copper cable to be utterly disappointed. Even with around 1,000 tentacles wrapped in energy-generating nylon, the electricity generated only adds up to around 1 watt or 10 kilowatt hours per year. So 1,000... Ooh, 1,000 jellies for 1 watt? Jeez. Nah, 1,000 tentacles. Tentacles. Oh, bro, my number might be correct. Yeah, enough energy to run your laptop for 20 days. Not bad. Oh, Not bad, but we want to power Tokyo here. We need more jellies, way more, about 29 billion. Hold on, that's only, that's only about four, only about four off. It sounds like a lot, and it is, but right now, there are 27 billion chickens alive on Earth. So it's mostly a matter of motivation on our part. Yeah, like technically, like, oh wait, no. I was trying to be like, I was yeah. trying to be like, you were I know what you're trying to, I know where you're trying to get at. In two, what if it rained bananas instead of water? Who wants to know that? Yo, yo, would go crazy. My fault. That was, no, but if I say something about plantains, like, I'm, I'm in the wrong, right? No, nah, I'm, no, nah, if I said it, it rained like motherfucking rice. I'm eating that. Like bread. I'm eating I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm I feel like it's nothing wrong with even, eating. The thing is, I don't even like bananas. It would have been one thing if you said watermelon. Like, that's different. I don't even f*** with bananas. You've never seen me eat a banana. Ever. God strike me I down like, right now if you ever witness me eat a banana. I feel like that's on some self hate stuff. I actually have seen you eat a banana before. When? You were like, yo, I'm going to do this because it looks gay if I don't do it the other way. So instead of biting it, you actually ripped it and then took a piece of it and threw it in your mouth. I've never done that before. How many years ago was that? I don't know. A brick. I still, I don't personally believe this. Wait, hold on. Let me move away. God strike me down. Let me make sure you <laughs> It must be over for you then. <laughs> for a whole day. Okay, so first we tried to calculate what would happen. The water cycle doesn't even go. Like, we die. The water cycle's cooked. How, and then there's an overpopulation how of bananas. We get, how we get bananas if there was no water? No, but I'm saying the bananas are just spawning out of the clouds. Like, nah, so they're just raining down. We don't get water. If for one day every single rain droplet was now a banana, 
Turns out, in a storm, several million raindrops can fall on a single square meter, which stacks quickly to the equivalent of a banana asteroid smashing into the planet and killing all life. While fun, this is a bit too much. Instead, let's take the average volume of rain that falls on our planet in a single day, about 1.33 trillion tonnes of water, a massive wobbly orb of water 14 kilometres across. Now, let's swap this water for bananas. Each fruit weighs about 120 grams, which will give us a daily banana fall of 11.1 quadrillion bananas, weighing 1.33 trillion tonnes in total. If we match average global rainfall patterns, even the Sahara Desert would receive around 15 trillion bananas. If a medium-sized banana has about 105 calories... Imagine a banana falling from the sky and hitting you in the dome, bro. What's up, bro? I guess you could say that's some monkey business. I guess you could say my head would pee you off. Huh. 15 trillion Sahara bananas alone could already feed the world's population for over two months. For the world... That can never happen around me because I wouldn't, I would be an A, B N A. Well, as a whole, the calories of all rain bananas add up to a grand total of 1.2 quintillion calories. With just one day of banana rain, we could go on feeding everyone on Earth for over a hundred years. Of course, in reality, the bananas are going to rot too. It's just going to take up a bunch of space every day. The banana rain would be pretty catastrophic. A banana falling from about 3,000 meters, the height of a mid-altitude rain cloud, would reach a velocity of 240 meters per second and strike the ground with the same kinetic energy you'd get from dropping a bowling ball off a 50-meter building. And we're dropping over 11 quadrillion of them across the planet. One of the rainier... I'm catching every single one. You know what I'm saying? Right, let me, let me. You know what the stand, therefore, worst affected cities is London. It would face but, a storm but of 20. We would have um, great eyesight. Don't bananas like. It's carrots, bro. Come on, man. One what do bananas do? I don't know. What does, what's potassium for? Oh. Bananas are just around? I don't know. Million bananas or 2.5 million tons. The shower of yellow death breaks roofs, shatters windows, and decimates national monuments. Human bone. I don't care about that. You know what? I don't I care I don't... about you. Because we hate cramps. Your Charlie horse is hurt. Not that cramp, man. Oh, like my fingers be like. I think sometimes when I'm holding this string. You need to take shelter from a banana blitz inside or underground. All around the world, cities and infrastructure, rivers and rain. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Forests are severely damaged and clotted with a layer of banana smoothie that's already beginning to rot. Trillions of mashed bananas are floating in the ocean, clogging up coastlines. Picture the aftermath of all the worst oil spills. And you gotta realize, like, yeah, they're gonna decompose too. And no, superstorms combined, but way worse than kind of everywhere. And our problems are just getting started. The rotting banana mush contains 160 billion tons of methane. Oh, yeah! Banana no, we're dying. Guys. We're dying. We're dying. 280 times our current annual emissions as a planet. Methane traps around 28 times more heat than CO2. Adding this much greenhouse gas. Because that's like, people hate, like, that's, that's the reason that people don't want to be, like, making, like, cows and stuff, too. This quickly will lead to a catastrophic and sudden spike in global temperatures. Most ecosystems won't be able to handle it and will witness a devastating mass extinction event. In short, banana rain is an apocalypse level catastrophe. Just eat okay. Like if we have like it rains, we have a banana day. Everybody, you gotta go outside eat ten bananas. I don't think um there's enough people on Earth for that. Eight billion times ten is like Come on now? Eighty billion. Come on now. They said like a trillion or something like that. Half of that gotta go in the ocean. 80% of the earth. So Hopefully your question has been proper. Hear me out. 80% of the banana stock not even They're touching the ground. They're still going to decompose in the f***ing ocean. And nigga. get trapped underneath the, the, no, the water. No, bananas float. Oh shoot, they do do that in ice cream. I forgot about that shit. A banana float. They do yeah, that's a root beer float! A uh, banana split, so it's double the bananas. God! <laughs> a banana float? What the fuck is that? 
properly answered. It's time to wrap up for today. Please keep sending us your amazing questions. Hey man, send the questions to us too, bro. Send us some questions, Chad. You know my body. Someone ask a question right now. What does bananas give you? A hard time? What is hair made of? Dead hair cells. How is Jones day? Calm. I haven't bagged no car issues yet. Um, is it pink? Yo, yours isn't. That's going to be the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.